So hiya, I'm Dylan, I'm one of the keepers here at Snakes Alive. Here with me today is Roxy, she's one of the reptiles we keep here. She is a lizard, specifically she is a bosque monitor. Now as the name says, monitor lizard, uh, she is in the same family as a Komodo dragon, although in a lot smaller size. Uh, Roxy here is fully grown, uh, she is a female. She is a bosque monitor, bosque monitors are also known as a savannah monitor, meaning that that's where they got the name, they come from savannas. Uh, she came to us about four years ago, so we actually don't know her age. She, she's actually a rehome. So the guy that came and dropped her off to us, uh, he came in and said, Oh, sorry, I can't look after her anymore. She's getting too big. Um, now, funny thing is, when he came and dropped her off, um, she was in the passenger car seat with him. And, yeah, she was already quite tame when she got here. Um, she's been regularly handled, uh, so she's very used to this. Um, now, the thing about why uh, she was rehomed was because she was too big, which is obviously one of the main, main common reasons that a lot of monitor lizards or any sort of big lizard like a tegu will get rehomed, is because they just get too big, which is why a lot of people uh, do rehome these, and I do recommend, uh, as one that's worked with these guys, uh, that you look and do your research on these guys before, before you go out and buy them, because a lot of people will buy them as babies and think, oh, it's so cute, and obviously realize that. They get this big. Uh, her main diet is insects. Uh, she is a carnivore though, so she will eat other things as well. But mainly she'll feed on locusts, mealworms, moria worms, crickets occasionally, but they're a bit small for it now because she is quite big. But um, as a treat, we will occasionally give her liver and uh, scrambled egg, which is one of her favourites. How she hunts her food, as you just saw several times, as uh, she does have a forked tongue. Now she's a little bit fidgety, so she does like being held this way, but um, she does have a forked tongue and it also goes into her jex organ and it's what's used to smell her food. So it is forked tongue. So if the smell of her prey is stronger on the left side, she'll follow it that way. If it's stronger on the right side, she'll follow it that way. And that's how she finds her food. Now often she won't eat too much. Uh, in captivity, uh, we only feed her every other day. We are trying to cut down her food because uh, she's slightly overweight. But these guys are scavengers. So they're very, very lazy when it comes to food. Uh, so basically, anything that a lion's killed, like a zebra or anything along that line, uh, prey species, and then you have the vultures come along, and then lastly, she, you have these guys come along, and they'll just pick off the bone and whatever's left. That's the reason why boss monitors, they are capable of running quite fast for their food, but they're very lazy about it. Also another thing about lizards is they can't actually breathe when they run. So what Roxy has to do is that she has to hold her breath, sprint for a bit, and catch her breath again. And that's how she's able to move pretty quick. Um, she's a diurnal species, meaning that she's awake during the periods of the day and during the periods of sometimes in the noon. Uh, so she does go out and bask, which is how she gets her energy. So she'll go out and sunbathe in the sun and she'll warm up and that's how she collects her energy for the day. And then she'll go out to look for food. Ugh. Now she's a little bit fidgety. Another defense mechanism boss monitors have is, you might be able to hear it, but she is able to hiss. Uh, so she'll puff herself up to look quite big and she'll hiss. And they'll be, they do that if they feel stressed or agitated. And that's how they deter predators. It's like, oh, I'm big and scary. Go away, leave me alone. Okay. Also a thing to note about lizards is they are able to shed their skin. So I don't know if you can see it from here, but she is shedding. So what you'll see is that uh, with lizards, they usually shed about once a month. However, unlike snakes, uh, snakes will shed their skin all in one go. Lizards on the other hand will shed their skin in patches. So she's got bits on her back that are shedding, bits on her tail and bits on her head. Um, they usually shed just how they, where, they, where they're growing. And uh, she is able to reproduce. So Roxy here is a female, as I said, and she is able to lay up to 20 eggs. So what these guys will do is they'll go find a burrow or dig a burrow out uh, in the sand and they'll put away their eggs there and they'll leave it. Now lizards aren't very good parents, unfortunately. They just lay their eggs and go and do their boat, go back to their business. If you guys have got any questions on Roxy, please ask ahead and I'm happy to answer.